Hi, welcome to Ogre Hamster. Today I'll be viewing the FIBA X1 Android TV box. It's also called Envy Box. And this one, it costs roughly $64 at Amazon. Now this one, let me show some of the specs on it. It's got quad core. And there's, and it's running Android 6.0. So for the Wi-Fi, it supports both the a 211 BG and NAC at both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz spectrum. So of course, if you have, if you're using the 5 gigahertz spectrum at home, I would always recommend connecting to that one. Now the built-in network port, it supports gigabit, and there's HDMI. Even came with HDMI cable in here too, and this one's capable of outputting at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. And there's also a micro SD card reader on here. Power cord is also included, and also a remote control, which is this unit right here. Now I'm taking a closer look at the remote control. Got power. The yeah, app button, mute, volume controls, typical Android, home, return menu, and yeah, there's also the mouse little icon right here. And here's the battery compartment. It's powered by two AAA batteries. Here's a TV box. It's got a little LCD display showing the time right in front over here. And the other icons, currently I'm connected through the wire network, so it's got a little network icon. A little cool LED and status indicator. On this side, we have the micro SD card reader. Two USB ports, and on the back, besides the antenna, we have the audio video network port, HDMI. We even got an optical audio cable right here, and the power cable, power port on the bottom. And here's the model on print on the bottom of the unit too. Here's the home screen, and on the bottom of the home screen is where you got some of my shortcuts. For example, Kodi. This was pre-installed, and I believe this version of the Kodi is a 16.1 17 is out, just didn't have uh, a need to upload, update it right now and there's always a lot of plugins pre-installed, for example like Exodus and let me just go browse the settings page so earlier I mentioned that there's also Wi-Fi adapter built in so I can scan the networks and just set this to open and here I can just browse to my, my local 10 2.4 gigahertz spectrum or my 5 gigahertz spectrum and let me browse back here. There's also a network connection where I can change the display. If, if, for example, if it's uh, over scanning, I can always adjust the screen size here too. Preference is Bluetooth. So here I can, for example, if I want to connect peripherals such as a mouse, a keyboard, a, a, a little trackpad if I wanted. And I don't need any dongle or anything that's connected directly through here. And of course, this place I can always just update the firmware for this. Head back to the main screen. Now if I had like family videos or TV series I can place on a flash drive or a micro SD card and just watch it on this device. There's also a game section. I can either put my own custom APK files on here or just download one of the games they have up, up here. And personally I think that if you're a play a game Connect a Bluetooth device, a uh, Bluetooth controller to this Android TV box. Don't try playing games using their provided remote control. Here's music, then here's the app section. So in this section, these are the apps that came pre-installed. Of course, there's a lot of the more well-known apps, for example, Facebook, and you know, the others. There's also Happy Cast. This is like a, um, a cheap version of Air Apple's AirPlay. I wouldn't recommend it. But there is Miracast. Let me show that briefly. So this is like a, a screen share for your Android tablet or Android phone. And on the lower left, this one has the Miracast name or this device's name. And here is my LG G4. Let me just turn on Miracast here as well. And scanning all the devices on my network. And I found it. So I'm gonna pick this Android now it's trying to connect. So on the TV, it's asking me do I want to accept it. I'm going to say yes, accept. Whatever I do on my phone, it will show up on TV. About like a quarter second delay. I'm going to play one of my videos here for a sec. Pause that. So it came out nice. It's um, it's definitely not like the Apple AirPlay, but this is more like an Android version of a screen share. It's very useful for presentations, useful for, 
for showing family, friends, photos, videos. Of course, I'm playing a, a video from YouTube streaming from my phone to the TV. I don't have to do that. There's also, let me head back to the main menu for this Android box here. For on the apps, there's even a YouTube app up here. So I could just play it off here if I wanted. So there's plenty of options available. If you're looking for an Android TV box with the latest hardware, well then this is the one for you. And it costs just $64. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.